Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Deb and today I am back with another FYI before you buy. For those of you who are new, FYI before you buy is a series that I have on my channel that takes you through the good, the bad, the ugly, the pros, the cons, the pricing, the sizing, the fit, all of that sort of stuff. My thoughts on some pieces that I have um, just to help you guys uh, make an informed decision in your purchasing. Today's FYI before you buy is going to be the Aritzia TNA Tour T-shirt, which is this one. I have it here in the color granite blue and the sleeve is inside out. <laughs> um, it's just a boxy oversized crew neck T-shirt. Um, but the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I feel like with oversized T-shirts, especially like in the boyfriend fit oversized sort of area, uh, the sizing is always something that I, I personally always debate, so I thought it would be maybe useful for you guys to see what they look like on me and have a little bit of a comparable. So, according to the Aritzia website, this is a 100% organic cotton shirt and it is $35 currently. Um... $35 for a t-shirt is definitely on the pricier end. Um, pretty much everything with Aritzia is a little bit more on the higher side. I would definitely classify Aritzia as a premium high street brand, not a mass market high street brand. Um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. I know that not everybody thinks that Aritzia is worth the price. I personally love the company. Um, I've been shopping there forever, but it to each their own. Um, on the price, $35, yes. Um, I do think that there are some great options from Uniqlo. However, I really love this t-shirt because it is so soft. Like, I cannot even begin to describe how soft and snuggly this is. It's, yeah, it is my favorite t-shirt formulation at the moment. Um, I really do love my Uniqlo versions, um, the Uniqlo crewnecks, but... This is just something, I don't know, and on me personally, this is a great oversized t-shirt option. I find that some oversized t-shirts are too big and, uh, or not big enough in the right places, something like that. So I really, this is why I definitely wanted to make this because I really like how this fits. I find that on this shirt, so I actually sized down. I'm usually a small, I picked up an extra small which maybe contributes to my love of this shirt, but sizing down the shoulder area, it's still a little bit oversized, but it's not so big where the seams are like down to my like mid bicep sort of area. Um, and it still retained all of like the length and boxiness down in the torso area. So I really liked that. I think that this is a great shirt um, if you are looking at it and there is a lot of flexibility. I think if I got my true size, it would still fit similar, just the shoulder area would be a little bit bigger, which that's not a problem at all. But in this, you can size down for a slightly more tailored boyfriend fit and you can size up for that super oversized, boxy, definitely stole your boyfriend's clothes sort of vibes. Um, which is something I really love about this shirt in particular is it is definitely one of those um, pieces of clothing, definitely one of those t-shirts where when you are sizing up or down, it truly is going to tailor the piece for what you wanna look for. Um, for the look that you want. Usually with t-shirts I find, especially a more fitted t-shirt, if you're sizing down it's way too tight and as soon as you size up it looks like really oddly bulky but not in a cute tailored sort of way. In a it's like fitting you in some places and like really awkwardly big in other places so I don't know. Um, that's just something I, I feel with this shirt is uh, you can really choose the size that you want for the fit that you want. So take your true size for that traditional, slightly oversized, a little bit boxier look, size down for it to be a little bit more fitted in the shoulders, but you retain the long length in the torso and still have it be a little bit boxy. And then size up if you're looking for that really oversized sort of vibe. Um, for me, I'm a little bit taller. Um, some of you guys I feel like are surprised when you find out my height. I'm just under five foot nine. Um, maybe the camera just doesn't 
you know, give you an accurate representation of my height. But um, on me, I have a really hard time finding shirts that are oversized, but not overwhelming, but also retain enough length in the torso for what I'm looking for. And that is definitely a huge seller of this shirt for me. The torso is long. It's it's long like a like actually like a men's shirt would be sort of long on me. But without all of the extra fabric around the torso area and in the shoulders and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely do love that like crazy oversized look. I liked my band tees to look sort of like that. But for an everyday sort of just like boyfriend fit shirt, definitely run into that sort of situation where the torso is on like the actual length of the shirt isn't long enough for the bulk or conversely, they're super long but not bulky enough. So this is my perfect boyfriend fit shirt. Yeah, that's pretty much everything you guys need to know about this shirt. Um, it's $35. I initially sized down. It makes it just a little bit more a, like true fit in the shoulders, but you still retain the length and the boyfriend boxiness in the chest and the torso area of the shirt. It is a little bit of a longer fit, which I personally really like. It suits my frame and um, it's a super soft, 100% organic cotton shirt and I love how soft it is. Uh, when you guys do go to wash, any sort of the Aritzia dyed fabrics. I really recommend a cold wash and washing them alone or with like the same colors because I did have a dyed shirt, not this one, but another uh, shirt, actually same color though, bleed. So I would just be like really, really careful about that. Um, but that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if three videos a week isn't enough for you, I post every single day on my Instagram and TikTok. Um, so if you want to go check that out and any of my other social media platforms, they are all linked down below. And I also run a blog if you want to read my ramblings as well as listen to them. That would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much again for watching.